How exciting, guys. Welcome back to that 1870s homestead. My name's Rachel, and we are out in the garden planting our first transplants. It is April 7th, and we're planting our broccoli and cabbages, and I'll be seeding kale. And these little starts have been hardening off for the last week, and I think they're ready. It's going to be a pretty, unfortunately, non overcast day for them to be transplanted out i pref would prefer overcast but that's not what we got today so the last video i was planting in my landscape fabric i told you guys how i didn't like it because it was tearing my hands up i still have a couple scratches but it, it's pretty much healed now um and my hands were just scabs all over them so Todd, and you guys, quite a few of you mentioned it too, just to, why aren't you using your auger? And we, I use it for my tomatoes. And I think the, one of the main reasons I didn't use it was because I was worried about bringing so much soil up on top of the landscape fabric. But I'll use that soil that is coming up and push it back down over the plants. But I'll be sharing this process with you guys today. And, uh, Hopefully it goes well. You know, like one of the things I'm curious about is will the landscape fabric help with the slugs or will it make the slugs worse? I don't know, we'll see. So come on down here and let's get a planting. I thought I was already videotaping. Okay, so let me tell you guys, I'm sore. My butt's gonna get wet sitting on this, but I have to sit today because yesterday was a back-breaking day, but so fun. Um, my daughter-in-law, for her birthday, wanted her first raised garden beds. So her dad built her the raised beds, and then between me and her, we got her soil all done and filled the beds, and I shared some of my onion starts, and we got those planted and took her over some strawberry starts. So it was just a big, huge day of just playing in the dirt, but I'm a little sore from that. So I'm thankful to have at least a little bit of something to sit on, but so yes, these are pretty dry. That is one of my tips too. If you're gonna be planting out, try not to water like really soon to planting out. Ooh, look at those roots. That's a happy plant. And Todd has dug my soil. I'm gonna sprinkle in a good handful of compost down in there for him. And some all-purpose fertilizer. The same stuff that I amended these garden beds with. Um, we're gonna just tease these roots a little bit so that they don't wanna grow in a circle. And plop them in there and push the soil back around. And since they're dry, I do need to water them pretty good because we don't have any rain in the forecast for like the next three days. And tomorrow it's gonna even be 70, 70. If I didn't tell you, I'm in Southeast Michigan. Um, so pretty exciting weather forecast. The eclipse is tomorrow. Are you guys watching it? We're planning on it. We're in like the 98th percent totality zone right here where we live. So we're not gonna go anywhere to watch it or anything to see the full thing. We'll just watch it from where we are. All right, doesn't that look happy? Broccoli number one in the ground. And I think I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 broccolis and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 cabbages. And I think I wanted the reverse of that. I wanted 14 broccoli and 12 cabbages, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, if you are growing brassicas for the first time, I'm gonna keep going while I talk. Let me turn you guys, okay. Wow, doesn't, isn't that a sight? Such a sight. If you guys are growing brassicas for the first time, um, and brassicas are things like broccoli, cabbages, Brussels sprouts, kale. There is an insect that loves them, loves them. And what they do is they 
lay their little baby eggs on them and then they eat them all up. And that is what we refer to as a cabbage moth. Um, you might call them white butterflies when you see them out flying around. And they will destroy, like destroy a cabbage. Other common insects that love to feast, um, or they, they will destroy any brassica, I'll say it like that. Um, you'll have holes all in them, chewed up leaves. And I don't mind sharing some with the pest, but they almost make them inedible, inedible. Um, what I don't like is when they make it to where I don't get a harvest. And other pests that you could plan on dealing with are slugs, um, specifically on your cabbages. Um, they'll do a number on them. So when I prepped these beds, I did put down some sluggo. And another thing that you can do to protect them is just keep those leaves, for, especially from the slugs and the roly polies, pill bugs too. Um, keep those bottom leaves uh, trimmed up off the ground. So that's why I was kind of curious, is this landscape fabric gonna help with some of that slug pressure? I don't know, but I hope that the slugs don't like crawling on the landscape fabric or it's too hot for them or something. We'll see. All right, broccoli number two. I'll keep sharing like little tips along the way, but I'm just gonna plant now and enjoy my time. And I just thought I'd share with you guys what I'm doing. Keep your cups too. If you use solo cups like us, you can reuse these until they break on you. I don't know about yet you guys, but I had a ton of fun. Oh, so glorious. My hands didn't get scratched once this time. That's the way to go. Use the auger and not once. So, so happy that Todd took his time to come help me with that. I have two more to go. You may have noticed as I was planting, um, I know, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying much attention to you guys. I was just in my own zone, um, but there are some empty holes, I will be planting kale in those empty holes. And then the tents are gonna end here. So if you haven't seen, like you can maybe see them behind me, the little green frames. That's what we're gonna be setting over these uh, with our insect barrier. I'm not gonna do that today though. Um, I think Todd's waiting on something coming in the mail for that. I can't remember, oh, zip ties, that's what it is. Um, so I'm gonna get my kale planted. Uh, kale simple, you just stick a seed in the hole. So I won't bother you guys with that, but I just wanted to take you guys with me while we're getting our kale planted. All in all, maybe 20 minutes, if that. Um, and all I was doing was grabbing a big handful of compost, putting that in the hole, and then sprinkling in a good helping of the all-purpose fertilizer. We use BioLive. It's a variety from down to earth, and that's by far my favorite fertilizer company. Um, highly, highly re recommend them. If you can't get that, I would probably recommend Job's next, Job's Organic, which is something that you can find at any box store. Um, and it's reasonably priced. So now it's just time to watch them grow. Um, and it's just gonna be so fun. So, so fun. I think I'm getting over the black and the, the brown when I see greens and purples and different colors coming into the garden. So as always, leave a comment down below. What are you guys growing right now in your garden? What have you planted? Up next for us is onions and carrots. And we 
should go peek and see if there's any peas sprouted yet. I don't think last time I checked, I didn't see any sprouts. 